Welcome to your Daily Writing Habit, episode 40. (laughs) Wow. I am your host, Christine Whitmarsh, but people call me Christine Inc. That's spelled I-N-K, like stuff you write with. Each and every day, I am sharing with you the writing habits I've learned over my 18 years as a ghostwriter, book coach, and author. I have learned that three types of habits can have a huge impact on your success as an author, writing fundamentals, productivity, and mindset. Today's writing habit covers writing fundamentals. It's called Why I'm Obsessed with the Number Three. (laughs) Might not seem like writing fundamentals, but bear with me here. So I think I read a while back that Aristotle considered three the quote-unquote universal number of balance. Whether or not he did, or I imagine reading this, or I hoped I read it, I kind of held on to that over the years because I think it sounds philosophical and deep and interesting. And, you know, as authors, we always like to sound philosophical philosophical and deep and interesting because, you know, people think that we're super smart because we're authors. So might as well go with that. So that's one of my reasons for loving the number three, Aristotle. Uh, But there's some other writing reasons as well. So regardless of its roots, I use the number three as a starting point to organize book architectures for my own books, as well as my client books. When it comes to structuring a book, for me, it just makes sense to organize a story in three parts, kind of like a three act play. So if you're talking about like a three act story structure, whether in a book or a screenplay or a play, act one would be the inciting incident, act two would be the action, act three would be the resolution. So you can obviously do this if you're writing an actual fiction book. You can also adapt this structure of inciting incident, action, and resolution to your own life story if you're writing a memoir. Or with with a little bit of creativity, you can use the same structure for a business, self-help, or other nonfiction book. For instance, part one might introduce the problem you're out to solve for the reader. Part two, you go more in depth to the problem and its implications. And part three, you solve the problem for the reader. That's just one example of how you can adapt the three-part structure to any sort of book. As easy as one, two, three. So that's why I like structuring books in threes. That's why three is my favorite number when it comes to developing creative ideas from sections to chapters, even to paragraphs. I just find it, like Aristotle may or may not have said, a universal number of balance. Thank you for joining me here today on Your Daily Writing Habit, where I'm helping you solidify your writing habits so you can finish writing an awesome book. And if you know someone else who is writing a book, I would love it if you would share this recording with them so they can do the same. Until tomorrow, happy writing. Mm